हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सी बी एस ई क्लास टेंथ एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज ड्रॉन टू सर्कम स्क्राइब अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस फोर सेंटीमीटर लुक यर अ ट्राइंगल सर्कम स्क्राइबिंग ए सर्कल विथ रेडियस फोर सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज फोर सेंटीमीटर सर्च दैट द सेगमेंट्स बी डी एंड डी सी into which the bc is divided by the point of contact d look here bc is divided by the point of contact d and are of length 8 cm and 6 cm respectively so this will be 6 cm and this will be 8 cm they had told us bd first and then dc in the last so bd 8 and dc 6 you can see find the sides ab and ac means we have to find this side ac and this side bc so for that first i am going to find solution here in this sum we are first going to find the area of this triangle by simple half into base into height method then we are going to find the area of this triangle by heron's formula so now let us start for that first i have to write this is 6 cm so this will be also 6 cm i am writing give this point name e and this point name f now this is 6 because this is 6 this is 8 so this is also 8 and suppose a is x so af will be also x now this we have to first make then you have to join so first we are, we are going to write now we are cd equals to ce bd equals to bf and a equals to af why tangents from the exterior points are equidistant so i had written this all now here you have to write equals to x also because we had suppose x now i am going to find the area of this triangle area of triangle abc equals to directly we don't have the height of this main triangle so what we are going to do i am going to divide this bigger triangle into smaller three triangles you can see by joining this now we are getting three triangles aob boc and aoc so area of abc equals to i divided into three parts you can see aob boc and aoc now we know this is altitude this will be the radius is always perpendicular with the tangent so this will be height and this will be base here this will be height this is also 4 cm as it is radius here this will be height as it is also 4 cm radius and this will be the base for each case so area of aob abc is equal to area of aob plus area of boc plus area of aoc now for finding this we know half into base into height so it's half what will be the base here the base will be 6 plus x i think we are going for uh, this aob so 8 plus x and what will be the height that is 4 plus for boc half and the base will be 8 plus 6 14 and the height will be 4 for aoc again half that is half and base that is 6 plus x and height that is 4 now we can cancel look here 2 ones are and 2 twos are so this 2 so it will be 2 into 8 16 2 into x plus 2x again here we can cancel it 7 7 fours are 28 again we can cancel this 2 and this 2 twos are so 2 6 are 12 and 2 into x 2x so this way we can find the area of abc by dividing it into three parts now you you can see you are having 2x 
and 2x so 4x and this 16 plus 28 plus 12 gives you 56 now you just take out 4 common here I will tell you why I had taken out 4 common so it will be 4 into bracket x plus 14 take it as result number 1 now we are going to find the area of this triangle by Heron's formula and we know what is Heron's formula area of triangle by Heron's by H I am writing is equal to under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C what is S? S means the semi perimeter semi perimeter means sum of all the three sides divided by 2 A plus B plus C by 2 and this A and B and C means the sides so how to find this we know it's A means this side X plus 8 plus this base that is 14 plus this side that is 6 plus X whole divided by 2 so you will get again the sum and 2x plus 28 by 2 take out 2 common from this we will get 2 into x plus 14 by 2 so 2 to get cancelled and your s will be x plus 14 now we are going to keep it here one by one under root that is x plus 14 into bracket again x plus 14 minus 6 8 plus x again second one s minus b that is x plus 14 minus 14 the second side and then the third one x plus 14 minus 6 plus x now I am writing this everything in bracket because when we are opening this bracket sign of this number changes every time look here here also it will change look I am writing but generally students forget to change this sign and they are making mistakes it will be like x plus 14 then this will become x plus 14 minus 8 minus x this will become x plus 14 minus 14 and this will become x plus 14 minus 6 minus x this sign will be multiplied with both this number now this x x cancelled again I am writing it here x plus 14 into bracket uh, x x 14 minus 8 6 here 14 14 get cancelled x and here again x x get cancelled 14 minus 6 8 so this will become the multiply this three you will get this will become 48 48 x and this will remain x plus 40 look here here also we are getting x plus 14 here also we were getting x plus 14 so that's why i had taken this common now this was our answer by simple formula and this was our answer by heron's formula now now we know both by both this method method we are getting the same answer Means this is also the area of this triangle this is also the area of this triangle so we will ke keep this from 1 and 2 we get x x into sorry 4 into bracket x plus 14 is equal to under root 48 x into bracket x plus 40 now what we are going to do here it is root and no root so we are going to just squaring both the side by squaring so that this root will get cancelled and we will remain we will get 48x into bracket x plus 14 on this side and in this side 4 square will become 16 and x plus 14 2 time I will write x plus 14 2 time generally students are squaring this with the help of identity we should not do this because on both the side we are getting x plus 14 x plus 14 will get cancelled and we can write x plus 14 now take this 16 in the denominator of the other side this will become 3x so x plus 14 
equals to 3x now I am writing it here so what will happen 14 is equal to 3x minus x I had taken that x on the other side so it will be 2x is equal to 14 so x is equal to 14 by 2 that is 7 now still we had not got the answer actually we want to find this side now we got x so I can find the side look here I am doing it here please don't get confused now a b equals to 8 plus x so it will be 8 plus 7 we are getting value of x is 7 so this will be 15 and a c will be 6 plus x that is 6 plus 7 and that is 30 so this is our final answer so this way we can solve this sum thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much